Hey, scholars, it's good to be back with you. Today I got a fun little problem from my statics class. We have a cart on a 25 degree ramp here, and it's being held back by a spring. We're going to calculate the compression of that spring, how far that spring compresses because of the weight of the cart. Now, the weight obviously acts downwards, but the uh, force against the spring is going to act at 25 degrees parallel to the ramp. So before we do this, we've got to make sure we understand the solution process. Now, the recipe for solving statics problems has four required steps, mandatory steps. The first one is a working diagram. That's that. The second one is a free body diagram, which we're going to draw here in a second. The third one is to write out equations of static equilibrium. And the fourth is to solve for something. The optional fifth step is to enjoy celebratory baked goods because we are not savages. So let's go ahead and do this. We've got everything set up now. Let's draw the free body diagram. And if you're going to mess up, this is where it's going to be. It's not really a trick, but there's a, a way to make this a little simpler. Now, there's the cart. Remember, free body diagrams are almost skeletal in their simplicity. They, they, they get rid of all the things you don't need to solve the problem. This kind of looks like, a, like the problem uh, would look like if you went up and, and saw it with your own eyes. This is going to be very simplified, very much a, a sketch of what is really happening. It has all the information you need and none of the information you don't need. That's why free body diagrams are so handy. So there's the force of the spring. Hang on a second here. There's the force of the spring. And there's the force of gravity. There's the weight. And there's going to be a force up, and I'll call that normal force, I guess, from the, uh, the, the ramp pushing up on the cart. So this isn't a free body diagram yet. In order to be a free body diagram, it has to have a positive sign convention. Now remember, physics doesn't know or care anything about your sign convention. It just works. The sign convention is there to help us as we try to analyze things. So if physics doesn't know or care anything about our sign convention, it means I can use any sign convention I want. Well, in this one, it turns out to be pretty handy if you make one of the axes parallel to the ramp. There's our positive sign convention. Now, does it have to be that? Absolutely not. You can, any, sign, any legitimate sign convention you can make work. It's just how much work are you going to have to do. If you use this so the x is parallel to the, the surface of the ramp, Everything gets easier. So normal force is in the y direction. The spring force is in the negative x direction. The only objectionable one here is weight. Well, let's take the weight and let's break it down into its x and y coordinates like you always do. Let me get rid of that. Weight now has a vertical component. There's w sub y. And I'll call that wx. Right? The WX, by the way, that's the force that makes the cart want to go down the ramp. So by using the, co the uh, coordinate system or the, the positive sign convention so that X is parallel to the ramp, it, it appeals to our sense of intuition. WX is the force that makes the cart want to go down the ramp, and FS, the spring force is, force, is the force that keeps it from doing that. Well, if I want, I can, you know, I can solve for the vertical forces if I want, but it's not going to be very informative. So we've got a free body diagram now. The next step is the equations of static equilibrium. So let's do this. I can write the sum of the forces in the x direction. That has to be 0. And I'll, I'll get out of your way here in a second. Just let me write this down. And I can write the sum of the forces in the y direction equals 0. Well, I don't need to know what the normal force is. I mean, I can tell it's going to be wy. The problem doesn't ask for that. So although that's a legitimate equation to write, and you certainly can, um, it's not going to hurt anything, the problem doesn't ask for it. So we don't need it right now. I'm going to go ahead and erase that. Now, notice there's no sum of the moments here either. That's because there are no moments acting on this. We're, we're treating the, the cart as a body that doesn't rotate, so there's, there's, uh, and there's, there's no... Uh, forces acting at any distances. So there's no moments here. This is the only equation we need. Well, let's go ahead and just do what the free body diagram says to do. Wx is going in the positive direction, and the spring force is going in the negative direction. That's it. That means the spring force is W 
x. So the only thing I need to know now is, well, what's wx? Well, let's do this. We're going to draw a force triangle. I'm going to go ahead and erase this since we don't need this anymore. And I have a limited amount of space on my little board here. OK, well, let's draw weight down, you know, because gravity always works towards the center of the Earth. So gra gravity is always down, at least uh, perpendicular to the surface of the Earth, I guess. And let's draw the components. There's Wx, and there's Wy. Now, the only problem I've got now is which one of these is theta? It could be here, or it could be there. Well, how do you tell? Well, let's see. Let's draw something here. Here's horizontal. Now, this physics does really know about this. This is perpendicular to the, 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 the vector of gravity on the surface of the Earth. And here's vertical. Okay, so gravity points downwards towards the center of the Earth. That, is, that really is vertical. Physics really does know about that. So let's grab this, this horizontal and rotate it. In fact, I'll use a different color here. Let's use red. And this is the angle of the ramp. So we know that's theta, right? Well, when we rotated horizontal, we also rotated the, the local vertical, I guess. So that's also theta. And from just basic geometry, all of those are theta as well. Looks like kind of like a, a attenuated snowflake, I guess. Four instead of six well, parts to it. So that means that's theta. That's the part we need. So now we know which one of those is theta. Okay, and if you've got this, I'm going to go ahead and erase this little uh, uh, rotated coordinate system here and make, make some room. That means, let's see. W, X over W must be sine theta. And we can actually check this if the, the angle of the ramp was really, 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 really small, less than one degree. W, X, the force trying to make the cart go down the ramp, would also be really, really, really small. So if this angle is really, really small, that means sine theta better get really small. Well, it's sine of zero is zero, so it's, 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 it, ma it makes sense. And there we go. That's it. So that's Wx. So let's go ahead and replace Wx with W sine theta. All right, and what we get is the force down the ramp is 4145.89 4, newtons. Okay. Now we know the force down the ramp. That's the first part. But we don't know how far the uh, spring has compressed. Well, for that one, we need the spring equation, F equals K delta X. So let me write that out here real quick. The force on the spring, or generated by the spring, is K times delta X, where delta X is how far the spring is compressed. And if you want to... Uh, just remind yourself, x is in that direction. So I'm trying to find delta x. That's going to be the spring force over k. And that's going to be 4145.89 newtons. I'm going to put the comma there. There. Now, did the units work out? Well, let's see, the newtons cancel out. That means whatever answer I get is going to be in meters. Perfect. So it works out to 0 0.2073, pretty much. And that equals 207.3 millimeters. So there you go. That's how far the spring compresses. So we use some basic ideas of statics. And the thing that made this problem uh, easier was to recognize that changing the angle of our positive sign convention simplified the equations. Now again, if you decide to use something simple, absolutely it will work. It's just going to be a little more, uh, take a little more time. So I hope that helps, and we'll talk to you next time.